Hello, parents and family. My name is Fabia Arevalo, and I'm coordinator of bilingual and ESL programs. Our Language Proficiency Assessment Committee, LPAC, supports students who are identified as English learners by providing linguistic accommodations to support their academic and social emotional success. Please be assured that if your student is being served through our bilingual or ESL programs, that instructional accommodations that were assigned at the end of the 2019-2020 school year can and will be implemented in your student's daily instruction, whether instruction is being delivered face-to-face -face or virtually. Your student's academic progress will be reviewed through our progress monitoring checks that will occur at the end of the third and six weeks grading period. Your child's teacher will continue to monitor their daily progress uh, on a daily basis and share concerns and or celebrations they have during their weekly campus grade level meetings. An LPAC meeting will be scheduled for students who are not demonstrating progress due to language to determine what language supports need to be modified. Now let's address what instruction will look like. Again, whether your English learner has opted for face-to-face -face or virtual instruction, LPAC is required to support his or her language needs. For virtual students, we have reviewed the language accommodations list that is available in the district's take flight document under instructional plan and special programs guidance, or you can Google English learner instructional accommodations checklist to review the document. Some linguistic accommodations include oral translation, clarify directions and or model pronunciation. And again, all accommodations can and will be administered. Your student's campus uh, will communicate the daily schedule that your student will follow. Now for English learners who participate in Joshua ISD's bilingual program and are receiving dyslexia services. This group of students will continue to follow Valley Speech's Esperanza curriculum. Services for students who are attending virtual classes may vary. For example, some older elementary students will be able to remain focused and engaged in a virtual stream with the regular Esperanza class and teacher. For those students, their instruction may be synchronous and occur at the same time as the in-person class. Students and parents will be notified of the time when they will join the class through a Google Meet on Monday through Thursday of each week. Some younger elementary students may not quite be developmentally ready to engage in a full synchronous Esperanza lesson every day. For these students, we will schedule two or three 20 minutes online sessions in a small group setting. Students in the small group will work with a trained Esperanza teacher who will provide the most essential elements of the dyslexia lesson based on the needs of the students. Elementary students receiving virtual dyslexia instruction will be provided with their own alphabet strip, cursive strip, and alphabet letters, along with printed materials and activity pages. These will be distributed when parents pick up books and classroom materials from their child's campus. Please know that LPAC is committed to working with other committees such as our SPED Department 504 and RTI to ensure that your English learner student is receiving all of the support that has been assigned to them. If you are new to our district, welcome. If your student was identified as an English learner at their previous district and that district did not participate in the administration of TELPAWS for the 2019-2020 school year, your student will have the opportunity to be tested here. Joshua ISD's cam campus testing coordinators and LPAC representatives will administer the single statewide assessment lost link to determine if they are eligible to be reclassified and exited from LPAC services. Your student's LPAC campus representative will contact you once the test results are available to discuss your child's placement and service. If you have questions or concerns, please contact your campus LPAC representative 
and you can also share your questions, thoughts through the district's Let's Talk link found on our district page. Thank you for your time and have an amazing day.